I'm good. Three, two, one, start. And I'll right. give you just a little bit of extra time before I start because I need to explain to everyone. Uh, you can start, of course, but this is this is giving you a bit more extra time. Um, we had a power cut, as you probably deduced from the last episode. I went back and spent about 45 to 50 minutes uh, trying to re-catch the Articuno. It took so long. It was so difficult. I was so lucky the first time around, and thank God the power cut came when it did, not 10 seconds earlier. Yep. And I caught one, and it's level 20 rather than the level 18 one. So I think because of those two extra levels, just for fairness... I'm just going to stand here, as you can see, and Michael's already running around and had those few extra minutes at the end of last session, and that should yep. roughly even things out. And yeah. also I did the fights. So basically I went back to the save file from where I'd saved, I think it was about 10, 15 minutes before. I'd said, oh yeah, wouldn't it be funny if I had a power cut? And I saved it. Um, so I went back from that, fought a couple of extra trainers with the same Pokemon. There are maybe one or, one or two tiny XP discrepancies between what happened the first playthrough and what happened this playthrough, but the levels are all still the same. I tried to use the same moves against the same Pokemon. I, I just watched the video back <laughs> and just copied it and then diverted when it got to trying to catch the Articuno. There was one attempt trying to catch the Articuno where I ran through this grass for about 10 minutes. Just There were no Articunos anywhere. It was all That's slackings terrible. and all sorts of things, yeah. But uh, I think I'm good to start now. And I need to decide what I'm doing. So I, I left it just after I caught it, so it's in my bank. And I need to decide whom I'm going to replace. Did you hear that? Okay, I'm now having my first encounter in the Pokemon Tower. My first wild encounter. Ah, oh, And it is a new. ghost level 15. Oh. Um, which, of course, you can't do anything with till you get the Sylph Scope, so I guess that's just a nun. Oh, can't do anything with? Oh, yeah, yeah it's because it's... Ghost. That's right. Ah, oh, damn. Oh, so, yeah, we can't really catch anything. I assume. Yep. Oh, well, too bad. What am I going to replace with Articuno? Uh... <laughs> These are all good Pokemon. Maybe the Clam Pearl, it's not that great. Nice to have a water yeah. Pokemon, but Articuno can learn water stuff. Yeah, Articuno's ice at least. That's, That's basically not water. Not exactly the same, but kind of. <laughs> yeah. Alright, sorry Clam Pearl, but you've been relegated. Now watch me watch me lose this Articuno in seconds. <laughs> yes. Mine's doing all right. Good. It's level 22. It's doing most of these fights on its own. Oh, wow. I actually need to look at its uh, abilities and <clears throat> moves and stuff. Mine's got Gust, Powder, Snow, and Mist. I think mine used those three against me, so that wouldn't surprise me. Nice. Pressure raises the foe's PP usage. That's not bad for long fights. Yep. Uh, gust... 40 flying, powder snow, 40 freezing, and ice and mist. Protected by a mist that prevents stat reductions. I was wondering what that did. Okay, cool. Mm. Fine, let's go and fight a trainer or two before I go into the tower. Ah, oh, I'm so glad that this all worked out as well, because I thought everything was gone. Sorry, I just picked up a very interesting item oh. in the... Uh, Pokemon Tower. I'd get there if I were you. <laughs> okay. Well, it's I... an item you'll be keen to get. Oh, it's the XP and share, it's an isn't item. It? It's the XP share. Right, okay. I might go heading into there soon then. I'm just going to do this double battle with the two twins, which I think you said had yep. a Foratress, so I'm a bit nervous. Oh, yeah. Powder Snow's going to hit both of them. Bayleaf's not going to die. Oh, Razor Leaf's going to hit both of them. This should be fine. <laughs> he says, watch me lose the Articuno on the first fight. Oh, dear. Ah, oh, Magnemite was frozen. That's good. Thought about leaving my Articuno in against a golem there. 
and it used rock throw straight away. So I'm glad Jeez. I didn't. Yeah. Oh, that's a thought. Magnemite is actually electric as well. Yeah, I'm getting Articuno out of mm. there. <laughs> Let's put in yeah. who's my next highest. Um, Cabutops. No, no, no. We want someone who can do something decent. Uh, oh, no. Yeah. Who's... Uh, Delcatty. Delcatty's got fire kick or whatever it's called. Bailey's going to use Reflect as well. I think we could do with a bit of protection against these two, just in case. Oh. Let's try it on Fortress. that he's water? He's not. Okay, cool. Good. That's that fight ended. Phew, I was nervous about that one. Okay. XP share. Gosh. Alright. Well, thank you for the tip. I'm heading on in there now. <laughs> <laughs> no worries. Maybe... Yeah, that's going to help my Ponyta a lot. Ooh. I'm tempted to use a load of repels so I can get the Sylph Scope, which I think you get from the top of the tower, and then I can catch a Pokemon in there. Oh, yeah. That would do it. I don't think you get it at the top of the tower. I think do you, you get, get it, it much later? Like at a gym? Yeah, I think you have to go to Saffron City. Mm. You get it from the Sylph Co building, don't you? Oh, that would make sense, yeah. Nah, screw it. Could screw be wrong, it. though. No, it's fine. And even then, you could use repels just to get up and down. And There should be a person in here that has a trade anyway. I seem oh, to yeah. remember. <laughs> it won't be a Pichu for a Kyogre. <laughs> <laughs> you never know, it might be. Oh shit, it's Cuffy. Oh wow. Yeah. Uh oh. Didn't consider him. He should be fine. Look at him, smug, shit eating. Cuffy. Yuck. Oh, that hurt. For being not very effective. <laughs> what Pokemon are you on? Agron. Oh, versus his Kadabra. Oh, Kadabra is no joke. I don't no. think he had a Kadabra for me. Well, he had... Um, he used... Shit, where are my super potions? They're there. <clears throat> he used uh, Psybeam, and it was it, apparently not very effective, but it was a crit. And, yeah, it took off just over half my health, so if that happened again, yeah. I'd be done. Super potion time. Oh, now he's confused me. I've hurt myself. Come on. Good. Headbutt worked. Kadabra is gone. Croconaw. That's going to be a water Pokemon or maybe a ground Pokemon. So I will change to Articuno. Yeah, I think it's ground. Hopefully it doesn't have like rock throw or something. Mm. That's the fear. 
So I'm going to yeah, switch any rock moves are going to be quadruply Bayleaf. effective on Articuno. Yeah, straight to Bayleaf. Cool. Oh, it's five levels higher than Articuno as well, so I don't need. That. Oh shit. <laughs> But all it did was use Leer and Bite, so I didn't need to worry. Okay, Ponytail's learning Fire Spin. About time. Yes. Um, First Fire move? No, it has Ember, but Ember's a ah, bit crap. Yeah, yeah. That's alright. Hello, Smoochum. Wouldn't be caught dead with a Smoochum, I have to say. <laughs> Oh, if it evolves into Jinx, you're you're happy. But you have to have a smoochum first. True. <laughs> Worse than Magikarp, isn't it? But the result is great. <laughs> yes. Zatu. Psychic flying? Yeah, that's right. So Articuno should be oh, fine against that. Me. No, 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 this is still Cuffy. Oh! Yes, of course. Yeah, I'd forgotten he had that. Maybe he doesn't, maybe we've got different ones. Although we took the same... Yeah, we took different starters, didn't we? So it's maybe randomised his whole team completely differently. I don't think we did take different starters, didn't we? Didn't you take Bayleaf? Uh, the thing says Whisper and... Totodile. I think we both caught oh, a Bayleaf on God, Route yeah, 22. Of oh yeah, I'm just thinking, that's the starter Pokemon, isn't it? That's one that's actually a starter. <laughs> yeah. And yeah, I don't think my Totodile lasted very long. Can't remember quite what happened. Oh. Ah, oh, that was good for Articuno. Yeah. <laughs> and he's got a Jirachi. <laughs> How does he have a Jirachi? For crying out that's, loud. That's pretty unreasonable. <laughs> oh, well, I've now got to fine. put up with his Jirachi for the rest of the game. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> uh. Poison powder doesn't affect it. Interesting. Good lord. And it's doing a number on my bay leaf. Stop using Psychic. Ah! Whoa, critical hit. Nearly killed it. Yikes. This is just me using Super Potion after Super Potion and it just undoing everything I do each oh, time. Oh no. Oh, I hate that. <laughs> it's so bad. Um, can you switch to anything with like better special defense or something? Yeah, I was thinking that, but I'm not sure what else it has that could help. Um, so what, what move is it using on you? Psychic. Yeah. Yeah, um, if you do have anything that resists that look. or that has higher special defense. Bayleaf is 59. Cabutops. Oh god, I just brought Cabutops out instead of looking at the summary. Please don't kill it. Okay. Psychic. That was okay, I guess. Ice Beam. Because I'm pretty sure it's flying, isn't it? So this should be super effective. Nope, it's not very effective. Celebi right. is grass psychic. This is Jirachi. So that's Sorry, Jirachi. Psychic. Steel. Oh, steel. Okay, steel I need psychic. to get Delcatty out then. Because she has flame wheel. Or, I keep forgetting what it's called. Blaze kick. Oh, this psychic move is really kicking my ass. Shall I sing first? Ouch. Nah, just blaze kick. Hope to kill it in one. Okay, yeah. didn't kill it in one. Don't crit me. Special defense fell. This is an absolute nightmare. <laughs> and it's all it's using. And my special defense keeps falling each time as well, making it more likely that the next one's going to kill me. Super potion. Stop using psychic, you little shit. 
Ah, uh, no, I can't. I can't survive another one of those. So oh, no. let's switch out to someone who has full health, which is either Articuno or Ralt, neither of whom is going to survive that. Um, I'm probably going to lose a Pokemon here then. Oh no. Who? So you can decide which one to lose, <laughs> right? Uh, I mean, Bayleaf? Because I've got Breloom as a grass cover, but it's also my highest okay. level. Agron I love. Um, Who could take a hit? Probably Agron. He hasn't had his special defense lowered, but he's only on 33 health. I think I just have to do it. Articuno is on 48 health. Let me just have a look at his special defense. 62. So that doesn't matter about level then, does it? It's just the special defense versus the power. There's nothing that takes level into account when it decides uh, yeah, the damage right. done. And it's just yeah, psychic. It's their special attack versus your special defense. I'm going to put Articuno out. Weird as that sounds, and hope it doesn't crit and kill me. Yeah. Now I used rest anyway, you little fucking shit. Excuse my French, but my goodness. <laughs> oh. Right, okay. While it's asleep, <clears throat> we're going to Super Potion... Delcatty. Yeah, some time. And then we're going to get Delcatty out. And just blaze kick it to death. God, what an absolutely horrid fight this is. Can't believe he has a Jirachi. And it's only level 20, and it's kicking my ass. This might be an, a, 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 a run-ender. Ah, oh, oh critical hit is dead. I mean, Thank in future, goodness. in future, it might be a run ender. When yeah. I meet him, and he's got like a level forty Jirachi. I don't know what I'm gonna do. Yeah. Get a fire Pokemon <sighs> that can really do something, I guess. Yeah. Smell you later, Cuffy. Good grief. <laughs> I'm glad you got through it. Me too. That was tough. God, it's been 17 minutes since we started recording, and I already feel like it's been an hour of stress. Anyway, what have you been up to? Talk to us about what's well, happened on your side I'm of the I'm fighting screen. an Armaldo that I was quite scared of, but it's just used Harden four times in a row while I use special moves on it. <laughs> now I've frozen decent. it, so that's it. Fair enough. The AI was never great in this. No. Although using Psychic over and over again, that's a pretty decent, decent move. <laughs> yeah, often just spamming the move is quite good. There we go. 12 more Super Potions, thank you very much. Check the old bag. Who are you talking about? Way. Way. Give that to you. Who gets the Scope Lens? Who needs to crit a lot? Agron, you can have the scope lens. Never melt ice. Repels heat and boosts ice type moves. I wonder who should get that. And then that should be it. Cool. <clears throat> A quick save while I'm here before the power goes, even though the storm's out of the out of the way. <laughs> nice. Right, back into the tower. Doing what you told me. Oh, the channelers have a scary sprite. Yeah. Well, well, not, spooky, not sprite, I? scary art. Yeah. Oh, yeah, you can't get to the top. Okay. That was easy, thank you. Well, 
What else works well against ice then? Rock, fire. Probably it. Fighting. Oh, fighting. Yeah. Against ice. Yeah. Okay, and it's also super good Smash against flying, right? So. Or am I thinking the other uh, way round? Flying's definitely sorry, good against fighting. Sorry, fighting is bad against flying. Fighting is bad against flying. Yeah. Okay. But flying is good against fighting. I seem to recall. Uh, yeah. Yeah, I, I picture like someone trying to punch while an eagle is like <laughs> soaring above them and swooping down. That's a really good thing to picture. Got little mnemonics for all of them. <laughs> I do need to do some practice. I need to get my Anki deck. <laughs> yes. It was a strong Mr. Mime, but it's dead. Ghost, 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 ghost. Yeah, the ghosts suck. Very spooky. It's only I've only had one. Yeah. Oh well, that counts. I am just on the first floor, but oh, I suppose yeah. second floor. The first floor with ghosts. Nidder King. Ground and poison aren't going to be anything, but ice is going to kick poison's ass. <laughs> and ground's ass. Let's just do it. See how it goes. Yeah. I'm finished in the tower. Well done. Impressive. Not sure what else I'm supposed to do here. That was a risk, but it was fine. <clears throat> um, I suppose getting the item at uh, the XP share, right? <clears throat> I guess so. Excuse me. And then, of course, getting to the top floor later on and yep. stuff. But I suppose the next real route is to to uh, Saffron City, right? To the west, yeah. Route uh, 8, I believe. Cool. Darn! The ghost can't be ID'd. Right, even though it's wasting time, I'm going to go and heal Articuno up without using a potion, because I'm scared of using potions too much at the moment. Don't want to become reliant on them. And it sets me back, what, 30 seconds. So to continue with what we were saying about what happens if you faint. <laughs> yes. Had we decided? Exactly. That's why we should continue. I think one thing that struck me was we ended up saying that if you do have to release, you know, all your Pokemon, you have none left, then you do go back to the start and that's tough luck. Yeah. However. <laughs> oh, XP share. Is that supposed to be there? I think that's just a random I don't think so. One. We I might end up with is. two. Yeah, that'd be fun. Um, yeah, do you think I... that's too harsh? Yeah. 
The holder gets a share of XP points without having to battle. Right, give that to Ralt. Um, yeah, I do think that that's too harsh. I mean, it's not too harsh. Like, we're, we're playing for harsh, and that's fine. But mm. I do think that perhaps it's... Ah. Uh, I don't know. You know what? I don't need to be in here. I'm going to go to Saffron City. Catch up a bit. There's no point in me just arbitrarily going up this tower, especially if we don't need to for the story. And I've got the thing I came for. Uh, yeah, it's too yep. harsh. Um, I, I'm just thinking... I reckon that if you're at, I don't know, the 8th gym or something, and I die and have to go back to the start, yep. <laughs> I'm going to be so not wanting to carry on at that stage to yep. start from scratch. I, I know that's the point. You don't want to lose and you don't want to start from scratch and all that, but it is so painful. Yeah. And I don't think it would make for amazing viewing either. <laughs> Which wasn't the first reason we decided to do this, of course. I do remember we, we chose to play this for ourselves and we said, oh, we could do it on YouTube. And we were like, oh, yeah, great. Yeah. So I, I I just wonder if we need to tweak that somewhat. Don't know how we could yeah, do it. Yeah, I'm trying to think of what the what the alternatives would be. Um, well, I mean, one alternative is is as you said, you keep one Pokemon back, catch a new one, and then use the new one. That would do it. And the reason we said, oh, that sucks, we don't like that, was because... Oh, you know what? I'm going to keep Articuno on, even though this is a f fire Pokemon. So I'm, I out-level it, and it's an Articuno. It's fine. Um, yeah, so I, I, I just think that maybe that's something we need to try doing. Yeah, I was going to say, because it doesn't feel great to do that, does it? To say, oh, yeah, well, I'll keep one and then release it, because that... <laughs> yeah totally goes against the entire thing. Yeah, but then there's always these little hacks, like there are. going back to the to the PC and pressing release on all the Pokemon is, is quite artificial, but we do that. It is, yeah, yeah that's true. So, so I just wonder just if maybe there's something along those lines, yeah. Or, ooh, how about you have to release all your po- Okay, that's fine. Super effective fire punch took off about a quarter <laughs> of its health. Brilliant. Okay. Um, <laughs> sorry for stopping short there. Yeah, so I think the one one thing that I just thought is, what about going to the Safari Zone, where you don't <laughs> need a Pokemon? You go in there and catch one. Oh, that's fun. Obviously, we'd yeah, have to have safari got to the zone. Safari Zone, but I don't foresee us dying and losing everything before then, probably. Hopefully um, not. Oh, I like that, the Safari Zone. You get one run in the Safari Zone, and you get to keep one of them. Yeah, so you can catch as many as you like, keep one of them. Yeah. And then go from there. And release all the others. Yeah, that's great. I guess you'd... Yeah, yeah, I guess you'd release all the others. Would it make sense, though? I mean, what about when you get to a stage when you've already... You've already got a load of... You've pretty much used up all the roots that you have. Hmm. So you can't catch any more Pokemon. So you only have one Pokemon to beat the Elite Four with, let's say. Yeah. What do you do at that stage? This is this is obviously far thinking and, and probably not going to be a, an issue, but... Well, you could grind it to level 100. Like, there's there's no... Yes, you there's could. There's no limit to that. So that, that would make it harder for you to win, but it would mean that there's there's an option It's for supposed you. to be harder to win anyway, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. Um, okay. So I think that's fine. And that's such um, an unlikely scenario as well. Yeah. Should it be the first... Uh, it, would, it would fit better, wouldn't it, if it was the first, first Pokemon you see in the Safari Zone? Yeah. Yeah, that rather than running around. Sense. I think that's a great... <laughs> All right, cool. Great option, though. I only just thought of that as we were talking, so I'm glad we did mm. talk about it. Yeah, good stuff. So there will be little 
possibly little caveats and little things that we might need to tweak and think about depending on the situation where that happens. But yeah, I think we're I think we're safe. Yep. Safe with that. Cool. Uh, good stuff. 